Hi, I'm Sandra from Here in Ridge, and today I'm going to talk to you about growing succulents. Succulents are really hot right now, really popular, and if you look online, you'll see all kinds of different ideas of different ways you can grow them. But what I've decided to do today is repurpose some old vintage telephone insulators and plant my little succulents in here. I really like these little containers for the little plants. I think it looks really cute. Now, this guy I made a hanger for because the bottom of this container is kind of woogity and won't sit very nice, and I think it'll look really cute hanging in my kitchen window. Now, that's a south-facing window. Succulents do need about six hours of sunlight a day, so you want to make sure it's probably either on the south or the west side of your house. These glass containers do not have a drainage hole um, and ideally they should. Since I can't put a hole in the bottom of them, I'm going to add a little bit of sand to the bottom of my container so it gives a little spot for some of the water to get away should it need to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the succulents that I think fit best. I think this guy will pop right in here. I'll just push him down inside there. Nice. Oh, there we go. Isn't that so cute? Okay, now I'm going to have to hang on to this guy as I work with him so he doesn't do that again. Just put a little more sand in there for what's spilled out. And I'm going to add a little bit of soil. Now, the soil, uh, you want to have a light soil, so a really good quality potting soil is great. Um, the most important thing is that your soil isn't too heavy. You don't want to use something from your flower bed outside. It's got to be a nice light soil. I'm just going to pop this little guy right in there. Isn't he so cute? a little soil around him in the bottom here. Excellent. Good. I think he's ready to hang up in my window. Now the important thing about growing succulents is you want to water them regularly, but you want to make sure that they get good and dry in between waterings. If you constantly have this soil damp or wet, your succulents are really just going to die. The other side of that is if you only water them, say, with a mister, they won't get enough water to the roots and they also won't do well. So you want to make sure that you give them a good drink but that you let them get really dry in between that. So when I'm watering these little guys, I'm probably actually going to measure the water with maybe a, a, sh a little water glass or something to make sure that he only gets a little bit of water every time and I don't overwater him like I would with a big shot from the watering can. You can see that succulents come in all different sizes, all different colors. Some of them have really neat details with the leaves. Uh, Pick whatever kind of succulent you like, find an interesting container, pop it in, and get growing.